Welcome back to the shop. My videos sometimes are seasonally driven, or temperature driven, I should say. I've got a new motor, a new 24-inch oscillating fan that we'll be putting up over in my little brother's shop. And when I bought it, it was a scratch and dent on Amazon. If you're, if you're on Amazon, you look in the left-hand corner towards the bottom, you'll see new and used. And more often than not, you, you can find deals on things. However, some of those deals are because there's something wrong. I'm usually okay with whatever it is. Sometimes it's bad packaging, sometimes it's a chip or a scratch. I can live with a lot of those things. In this particular case, it, it was pre presented with an issue that I, I'm i unsure about. I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. When I got it, the three-speed fan switch was blown right out of the thing. It was just rattling around in here with the little brass connectors and the, the back of it was separated. And the wires in here were not I had nothing to go on. So I, I knew I needed a fan speed switch, a three position, four position if you count off. And I do not know, did not know how to wire this thing back up. So I did a little research and hopefully this video will, hopefully this works. And if it does, hopefully it'll help you figure out what to do if you're in the same boat. Before I reposition the camera, this is what I'm going to be using as my template for a three speed switch. The rule here is that higher speed equals lower ohms. So, and that's tested to neutral. So remembering that diagram that we saw, we know that the first thing to do is identify the neutral. And the neutral, as I mentioned before, comes in through this cord. It is the white cord. And I can see that it plugs into the back of this nut here. And instead of trying to hold that in there, I'm just going to continuity test. I know that you can hear that beep, hopefully, that I can feel that those two are connected. So now I, it's a little easier for me to go through and just hold this here. Now I'm going to measure resistance. So resistance is measured in ohms, ohms, and in my particular meter, so is continuity, and so I can toggle through. You can see the diode there. Then there we've got microfarad, and then here we've got ohms. So we're going to measure ohms, and sorry if this is upside down for you. I'm going to measure the black one first. Well, my writing will be backwards. So I have 20.9 ohms of resistance for the black wire. We've got 37. No, I didn't get that. 37.3 ohms of resistance for the white wire and for the gray wire I've got 33 ohms of resistance and remember in this diagram we saw earlier the higher the ohms so the higher the ohms the lower the speed with the height what am I saying here the lower the ohms the higher speed so with that being said if we rank these the lower the ohms, the higher the speed. So this should be three, if three is high, and then two, and then one. I'm going to have to make an assumption the way that these switches are, that the line L, if you can see the L, that's line in, that's going to be the other side, the black wire coming in from the wall. Is going to go there and then for one we're going to have the white wire for two we're going to have the gray wire and for three we're going to have the black wire you just shove the wire in one direction and it'll get captured on sort of a spring thing and you can see right there there's a, a depth gauge on how far to strip the wire so i have these plugged in right now I'm going to plug this in and we'll see if we let the smoke out. Off. One. Two. Three. 
I do not know how to turn the oscillating off. It's sort of a pain. Let me get an RPM gauge. Alright, scratch the RPM thing. This thing's busted. I'm going to reassemble it, put the fan together. We'll just see if it blows more air. Well, I think I did it. There doesn't seem to be a huge difference between two and three, but I could see the vibration changed a little bit, so it, something, it sped up a little bit. I, but like we saw in the resistance values, there wasn't a big difference in the resistance between the wires, so that's to be expected. While we're here, let me give you a little quick tour of the shop. You'd seen this before in earlier videos. This is my father's shop. Uh, he passed away the very end of last year so now my little brother is going to move in here and we've gone through and started cleaning things up and I, part of the problem is is, <laughs> is me i've got a lot of stuff here that is mine i've got things that are my grandfather's it's more you know family stuff but but i brought some of my own projects as my first big motor from my uh, we got from the shop from my air compressor and i've got some other air compressor stuff here some sewing machine parts just lots of random stuff, some things I really need to go through and, and get rid of because I, I have more projects than I have time. But like the shop, we're just going to do a little bit as we can and part of, part of doing the work is, is being comfortable. That's why the fan sort of leads into this. But eventually I'll get my bridge port out of here and Clay will get his big green toolbox in here and we'll have some air to move around but but it's a nice shop it's about a thousand square feet and once we get it cleaned up it should be a wonderful working space and I guess that's that's about <laughs> about it for now so that's just a quick overview of the shop and hopefully over over the next couple months we'll see it take shape thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I hope you're having a good day